Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to make a pretty simple device that you can use with a drone to remotely drop uh, colored powder for gender reveals. I was looking around on YouTube and there's not a ton of videos of drones being used for gender reveals. Most of the videos I saw were people using drones to film a gender reveal, either like a, a burnout or, but not a lot of the actual drone, um, you know, being used to, to reveal the color. So I wanted to go ahead and build a contraption that can be used to drop powder from the drone. I'm gonna show you how to do that. So most of the stuff um, can be found, you know, the items can be found around the house. I will link some of the, you know, devices that you can't get around the house um, in the description. So let's go ahead and go through some of the items. So obviously you'll need colored chalk. I got mine on Amazon. They're about $18 for both colors. So you need to get that. Um, a hot glue gun. This is a rubber twisty tie. I got it from Home Depot. They're about four bucks for a pair. Uh, so those come in really handy. So you need a couple of those. Just normal cardboard, scissors. You might need wire snippers and some wire. If you have two of these twisty ties, then you probably won't need this, but um, I only have the one, so I'm using this as well. You need a black garbage bag, and obviously you don't want to be able to see through it, so you don't see the color, so um, the black like lawn garbage bags work really well. You'll need duct tape, some twine, or small rope. Obviously you'll need a drone, so I have the Phantom 3 Advanced. Um, any of the Phantom series should work. Uh, the thing that kind of helps out a lot is this cross member on the bottom. Um, you can buy those pretty cheap, you know, on Amazon or wherever. But this will be used to, to fasten the device too. So it comes in pretty handy, but you don't have to have it if you don't have one. The, the most important thing, oh, also small binder clips. And the most important thing is this device. This is what we're actually gonna use to drop it. This was found on Amazon for about 25 bucks. The alternative that a lot of people have um, done videos for on YouTube is, I believe it's called the Flea Flea. And it's a lot more robust and has a longer range um, and it could probably handle a lot more weight. But for this purpose, for just doing kind of like a one-time use and not, not a ton of weight, um, this, this worked really well. Again, it was like 25 bucks. I will link the, um, where you can get it on Amazon in the description. And it comes with this little Velcro strap. So just real quickly, I'll show you how it works. So you got on off button on the side, on off switch on the remote. And when it pairs, it turns, you know, both lights turn red. So you basically just push the button and the little servo opens and closes. So that'll be used to actually uh, release our device to drop the color. Here is the, the box that it comes in, remote drone clip. Um, so yeah, again, it's, it's pretty cheap on Amazon and worked pretty well. It comes with um, this little plastic clip that you can use um, to drop. It comes with some water balloons and it, com it also comes with a little army parachute man. So it's kind of fun to, to play around and, and drop the army guy. So anyway, um, so I was glad I was able to find a, a cheaper alternative to the Flea Flea because I didn't want to spend a whole lot for doing a one-time gen reveal. So all in all, it wasn't too expensive, uh, probably around maybe 50 bucks or so. The first thing we're going to do is um, cut our bag to length. So essentially, we're going to use this to form a long like tube that'll hold the powder. Idea is that we're gonna take our twisty tie and we're gonna use the full length of the bag and essentially wrap it in a tube shape around our twisty tie. So this will be kind of form the, the top of the tube. So we need to cut it so it's this wide. So we can just line that up on the end. So next we want to tape our twisty tie to the end. And if you have two of these twisty ties, then go ahead and tape the other one to the other end. This will form both ends of the tube. So 
since I don't have two, I'm gonna use just a wire that basically this will help, you know, keep its shape. So use our duct tape. All right, now that you have both ends taped down with the rigid or with the bendy twisty ties, we're gonna essentially fold it into a big tube and then tape along the edge to, to seal it. So next we're going to take four of the small binder clips and we're just going to flip them on to the top. So you want to make sure these are on pretty snug. Alright, so now we're going to add the string to it which is going to be what attaches to our drone. So we kind of just weave through all of them. Don't cut it yet because we're not quite sure how, how much we're going to need. So what we're going to do is essentially pull the two opposite ends together and we're going to pull them up together. We're going to attach those all together and that will kind of be our, our base of how we're going to hold it. And then this end will go up and actually attach to the drum. So you want the length of this fairly long um, because we're going to put in a cover and it makes it easier if you have some slack so you can open and close the cover without having to move these. You want to make sure these are all fairly even when you uh, attach it together that way it will hold it up evenly. So essentially we're just going to hot glue this all together really well. You don't want, you don't want any of these slipping because that might unravel everything so make sure it's glued very securely. We're gonna make the cover that's gonna go on top. So we're just gonna make just a cardboard circle that covers it. And then all we're gonna do to attach it is this, we're just gonna tape basically just one little piece on so that it'll form a flap so you can open and close it. And that's all it really is. So that'll help prevent the camera of the drone from seeing um, inside the bag and seeing what color it is. Also a side note, so um, I've done some tests with this drone. I would imagine most of the Phantoms are about the same, at least the Phantom 3s. From what I've done, about a pound and a half is kind of like the safe zone of what it's going to lift. Um, if it's too windy, then it has to compensate for the wind, so you're not going to have uh, as much carrying capacity. I'd shoot for about a pound and a half of, of powder, plus, you know, the weight of all this stuff. It's, it's not too much, but about a pound and a half of the powder, probably about the max it'll do. So the length from the top of the, the tube to the, where it's going to attach the drone, you don't want it too long. The longer that is, then kind of the more unstable it becomes. So you want to kind of keep that, you know, probably around two, maybe three feet. Cause then if you get it too long, it starts to kind of swing out of control and it just starts to like perpetuate and make it worse and worse. One very important thing is when you're attaching this to the drone, most of the weight is going through this string. So it's, in, it's very important that when you're attaching it, that this is as close to the center of the drone as, as possible. Because if it's off, you know, too far back, too far forward or on the sides, then the drone's going to be fighting that, um, that kind of that torque um, to keep it in one spot. And you're going to lose a lot of capacity of what you can carry if it's too off. 
from the center, so keep that in mind. For this guy that I have, it just has these two holes that are centered. So I'm just gonna run it through there and then basically just tie it off. So that should be pretty close to the center. So the idea is this string, this is always fixed to the drone. It's, it's always attached. And then what happens is we're gonna fold essentially this end up and then this will attach to our device that can let it go remotely. So essentially all the powder, all the powder will basically be sitting in kind of this where, where there's turns, where it curves. All the powder will be here and then this end will be attached to here. And then when we let go, this will open up and then allow all the powder to fly out the bottom but then the entire contraption is still attached to the drone. So we'll go ahead and attach the remote device to the drone. And also on this one, you wanna make sure that this is fairly close. This attachment point is fairly, fairly close to the center of the drone. I did some tests with it back here and some of the weight, you know, a lot of the weight is on here, but also some of the weight is pulled here. It kind of creates an uneven pull on the drone, so it, want, it needs to to fight that and I noticed that it can't carry nearly as much so when you're attaching it don't put it on the back or on the front. What I did was kind of wrapped it right around here and then so this string attachment point and this one are fairly close together and it's fairly close to the center. And then keep in mind that when you're when you're filming it if you, you know if you're gonna film it with this drone as well this camera obviously will be facing downward and you want to make sure this isn't you know in front of the camera to block it. It's not the most robust system. It's all the tests I've done, it works, it works pretty well. So. so now what we're gonna do is attach this end, essentially attach it to here. So you don't have to worry about it snagging or you know too, it being too complicated. It's essentially, I'm gonna attach one, of, one end of the string to one of the sides of the opening. And essentially, we're just gonna loop it through there and then attach the other side back down to here. So it's essentially one simple loop that you can you know, easily hook and unhook from here. That way it's, you know, there's, there's no way it'll get caught or anything, it, it's, it works pretty well. Now we just need to poke two holes in opposite sides of this guy. And then here you want to make sure that the length that you set for this end is about the same length as this guy. This end will be fixed to the drone. And when you got when it's flying, when you got weight on it and you hit the button, this end's gonna drop, which will essentially let this, you know, the gravity will let this unfold and then all the powder will, you know, fly out the bottom. So now that you got your device made, all you have to do to prep it is take your loop, turn these guys on, have it be open, put your loop inside the device, close it, so now it's locked in there. Alright guys, hopefully this video was helpful on giving you ideas on how to um, use a drone to do a gender reveal by dropping colored powder. Um, you can use the design that I've given you in this video to come up with your own, or you can you know, take certain parts of it and tweak it however you want. Um, it seemed to work pretty well uh, with the way I've done it. But feel free to ask me in the comments section below if you have any questions, and I'll, uh, I'll be sure to answer those. Um, so hopefully you guys can find some success in... Uh, dropping powder with the drone. I appreciate it if you found this video useful if you hit that like button and subscribe to my channel um, and check out some of my other drone videos that I have on there. Thank you guys. Have a good one.